Is it the end? At 8.30, Mr. Williams opened his eyes. For a moment, he didn't remember the events of the previous day. Then, slowly, his mind formed a picture of a computer hacker and some strange puzzles. He wondered if he had dreamt it all. Then, he saw Robbie and Joe, who were still asleep on the floor, and he saw the computer screen. The final puzzle was still there, and the hourglass was almost empty. It wasn't a nightmare. It was real. The door of the office opened, and Belinda came in. Oh, Mr. Williams, have you been here all night? And poor Robbie and Joe, too. Did you find the solution to the last puzzle? She saw his expression and already knew the answer. I'll make you a nice cup of tea and you'll soon feel better, she said. There were only 30 minutes left. Mr. Williams was angry with himself. He felt responsible for everything. His bank was in danger and he couldn't save it. He tried to wake Robbie again, but it was difficult to wake his teenage son before midday. Belinda returned with the tea. Mr. Williams drank three cups. He looked out of his window. The bank tellers were arriving for another day's work, maybe the last day. What could he tell them? In desperation, he sat down in front of the computer again. Belinda, if we win, I promise that I will learn about computers and become an expert. My son is only 15, and he knows much more than me. I'm living in the past, and I have to change. That's a wonderful idea, Mr. Williams. And, of course, I'll help you with as much as possible. I know a lot of things now, and... She didn't finish her sentence because Mr. Williams shouted so loudly that Robbie and Joe woke up. That's it! I've found the solution! I know the answer to the puzzle! Robbie and Joe got up right away. They looked at one another... And then at Mr. Williams. Robbie said hesitantly, Are you sure, Dad? It looks impossible to me. Yes, of course I'm sure. I've done it. Now, first I click on the reply icon, right? And then I write the answers. The first word is Bill. It's the man's first name and the abbreviation of my second name, Williams. The second word is gate. It's a barrier and a way to enter. So the man is Bill Gates, said Joe. Exactly, replied Mr. Williams. The third word is Microsoft, his baby, his creation, but also a monster in the opinion of some people. And the last word is Seattle. That's where Bill Gates lives and where he started Microsoft. The beginning. That's brilliant, Dad. Well done, said Robbie. Now, continue Mr. Williams, if we take the first letter of each word, we have B, G, M, and S. We have to add two more letters, I and A, and these six letters should spell the name of the hacker. Everyone looked at the six letters. B, G, M, S, I, A. They tried to see a name, but they could only see words like pig and bags, but no names. Then suddenly Mr. Williams jumped up and yelled, Yes! Yes, I know the name of the hacker! A holiday for someone. Sam Gibb, said Mr. Williams. I don't believe it. But why does he hate me? Maybe because you sacked him two weeks ago, suggested Belinda. Robbie asked, Who's Sam Gibb? Mr. Williams explained. He used to work here at the bank. In the beginning, he was a good bank teller. Then he started to arrive late for work every day. Instead of working, he used to surf the net and log on to chat rooms. He spent hours talking to people all over the world, so I sacked him. But wait a minute. If he left two weeks ago, how did he know the new computer passwords? Belinda had the answer to his question. He came back to the bank a few days ago to empty his desk. I think you were in a meeting. I remember that he went to Mike's office and stayed there for a long time. I thought he was talking to Mike, but now I think about it, Mike wasn't there all the time. Anyway, Mr. Williams, you're a hero. You saved the bank. Yes, and there are only two minutes left. Look, it's 9.13, said Joe. They all looked at the computer screen. 
Suddenly, Robbie said, Dad, did you remember to click on the send icon to return the message to the hacker? I mean, Sam Gibb. Oh, no. Quickly click, click before it's too late, shouted Mr. Williams. Four hands tried to operate the mouse, but in the confusion, it fell on the floor. Finally, Robbie picked up the mouse, clicked, and the message disappeared. For a moment, nobody spoke. Then they all began laughing and hugging each other. We've won! We've won! We've won! You've won, Dad, said Robbie, while Joe hugged Belinda again. Mr. Williams went downstairs to give the good news to the staff, who also laughed and applauded their boss. Yay! Yay! When Mr. Williams returned to his office, he picked up the phone. Now I can call the police and tell them everything. And they can go to Sam's house and arrest him. But before he could do it, another email arrived. Hello, Henry. Now you know who I am. Congratulations. Did you enjoy playing my game? When you sacked me, I wanted my revenge. So I sent the virus that infected the bank's computers. But it wasn't enough. You installed a new computer system, so I came to visit Mike and saw the new passwords on his desk. It was so easy. You really need to improve security at the bank. Maybe I can help you. But Henry, I still have a surprise for you. This time, Mr. Williams went white. Oh, please, no. Not another puzzle. He cried. I think I need a holiday. As you booked your holiday to the Caribbean on the net, I changed the address and the tickets arrived at my house instead of your house yesterday. I also changed the date of the holiday and I'm leaving at 10 today. I'm sending this message from the airport on my new laptop. To show you that I am a kind person, I have returned all the money to your bank account. Thanks for the holiday. Maybe we can play another game when I come back.